we do have a sleeping cat over here so we're probably going to get walked over at some point but it is what it is, we're going to work with it, let's just get on into it. Most of this is split into categories other than this which is my Colourpop Rose into Anna box. So I got Anna and the Elsa boxes from this collection last year. I'm not decluttering any of these products. I have used all four. So I've used the palette and I've used every shade in the palette which I was I was quite pleased with myself. Lip gloss I don't love, it's got quite a sweet smell to it but the colour is really nice. The lipstick in Going North is beautiful and then I used the gold glitter in my hair. So I've used all of these and none of them are up for being decluttered. Let's do single eye shadows because that's what's here. First up I've got two of my By Terry. This is shade number 15 Ombre Mercure and number 12 Black Matte. I'll swatch them for you. Neither of these is getting decluttered. I really really like these eyeshadows. They're definitely safe. Similar idea from number 7 eyeshadow crayon in the shade Cool Mink. Wait a second, I just want to address this white balance and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I feel like that's a little bit better and a little bit more accurate. I think I'm going to declutter that one. The Cool Mink one, it's it's fine, but it's just kind of nothing special. So first declutter. Another one that I'm going to declutter, so you already know about this if you watched my last video, which was ranking my London haul, where I just talked about how I don't get the glossy thing. This was my first glossy product that I bought, it's the Lid Star in Herb. I have got hooded eyelids, this just creases. I feel like as well it swatches really nicely. So I really do really like it based on the swatch, but I feel like the colour doesn't go like that on my eyelids. I don't know if it's to do with the fact I've got hooded lids or something else. The colour just seems to be really streaky and won't build up in my eyelids at all. I was kind of back and forthing over buying this and Lauren was getting, I think there was a set and she was getting like one set plus one extra and it was going to take a little bit of money off of this if I bought it and put it in the second set type thing with her and that tipped me over was just saving that like three dollars or whatever it was. And that's just generally never a good sign is it? You shouldn't buy things because you're willing to buy them when they're slightly cheaper because I know if I really like something it doesn't massively matter what the price point is. Like if I really like it, I will buy it. I should have just never bought this in the first place. But yeah, decluttering this. Another kind of shadow stick. This is actually from Topshop and this was the shade Magic Garden. You're not really going to be able to see this, but it's like a black with kind of greens running through it. It's uh, desperately needing sharpen, so you're not getting a great idea of the colour. But I really, really enjoy this and I'm definitely keeping it. I've got two of the Stila Glimmering Glows. This one is the shade twig and then this one is Grace. I did really like these, I like both the colours but I think basically I've just had these for too long. I've obviously got far too much makeup so it's taken me far too long to get round to them again and I just feel like they've dried out and they're not great so I am going to put these in the bin. The other things I will pass on to someone else because they are still usable but these ones I think are really just fit for the bin now, which is really sad, but that's why I need to declutter because I need to reduce my stash so that when I have things that I really like, I have got enough, not enough, what's the word, like not enough stuff, I've got enough time because I'm not trying to rotate through a ridiculous excess of stuff to actually get the use of things before they go off or dry up or whatever. So that's a lesson lesson learned. These two are going in the bin. Next up I've got this eyeshadow from Kiko number six in their cream crush shadows. So that is the Kiko eyeshadow. I do like this but I just it's nothing special so I'm just going to declutter it because I'd rather get more use out of other things before they go off than keeping space in my collection for things that are just okay. This is the Urban Decay Single Eyeshadow Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. This has got so much fallout, every time I use it I need to try and remember to use it before I do the rest of my makeup, but I do think it's really, really pretty. I was wearing this in my February capsule wardrobe video. I just think it's super lovely and I'm definitely, definitely keeping a hold of that one. On to this, which is my single shadow Z palette that I've made up. These three here are Tea Garden, Team Captain and Glass Bill from Colourpop. These are all staying. This is from Suva, I think the brand is. It's the shade The Six. Naked and Buck, I think, from the original Urban Decay Naked palette. So they're both staying and this is Urban Decay Shadow, I want to say it's called Easy Baked. Again, it's a depotted one. 
keeping these. These ones here are Makeup Geek. This is the shade Peacock and this is the shade Enchanted Forest. They are both going so I'll swatch them and talk about why they're both going. This is the shade Houdini and this is the shade... Envy and at the moment they are both staying so these two are going. Basically the shade Peacock I think more or less pretty much matches the circles under my eyes. I felt like the day that I wore this all I could see was how bad my under eye circles were. I feel like it really emphasised them so I'm guessing rid of that one. The shade Enchanted Forest which I want to like because I love the name and I actually I like the colour. I wore this in the video I filmed yesterday which was my London haul and I just felt like it was really patchy. I had to build it up a lot to get it to work properly. It's a beautiful deep sort of murky green and I'm really into that as a colour but because I'm into that as a colour I have quite a few colours similar to it so there's really no need for me to keep working with one that is a bit patchy. The only other palette that I've actually used in the last six weeks because I've been trying to kind of use other eyeshadows is my Nabla Secret palette so that's what that one looks like. This is just probably my favourite palette at the moment. I absolutely love it, particularly this shade Fantasize and this shade Rosemary. But I do, I like all of them, I've used all of them and I really like this palette. I'll just show you this one because it's it's so beautiful. Look how pretty that is. And then the shade Rosemary is just lovely as well. I am really, really enjoying this palette and I'm definitely, definitely not decluttering it. Onto my small palettes that I've used in the last six weeks. I've got this NYX Full Throttle Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Colour Riot. So this is just a lovely little quad of grungy tones that I really like. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Also used this quad from Clarins. In this you've got standard sort of all over eyebrow shade. This shade which is very pretty. So I'll swatch that for you. It's quite a subtle one so I don't know if you're really going to see it but it is very very pretty. You've also got this orange shade which is nice and then lastly you've got this brown. Now the thing is these two shades are just kind of very standard shades, there's nothing special about them. And then in terms of these two middle shades, Primavera from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette is like a more beefed up better version of this and I got the Colourpop Orange You Glad palette that I haven't even checked if there's an exact dupe for the orange from this palette in that but I'm sure there will be and if not I can definitely mix enough oranges from that palette of 12 oranges to match this so I'm going to declutter this one and pass it on. Also used this little Bobbi Brown kit which is, it is a quad but it's also got a blush here. Again these are really pretty but having used them they're just the sort of shades that I definitely own in other things and that is such a lovely pleasing little package that I just think somebody else should, should get that and be able to actually get the use of it. So I'm passing this one on. I used this little duo from Estee Lauder. The shades in this are called Sugar Biscuit which is again that very standard like kind of under eyebrow shade that we all own and this shade um, called Ivy Envy which I like and I really like green eyeshadows but again similarly to this I got the Colourpop Just My Luck palette um, for Christmas last year so I can definitely do that Either from that or from my extensive collection of green eyeshadow, I'm very attracted to green. It's one of my favourite colours. I own a lot of it, so there's just no need in terms of how small these palettes are and, you know, the quality of this. I'd just rather have that one shade. I don't think these really match, but to just swatch Team Captain from Colourpop next to that, like, they're not the same, but I would rather find, you know, a dupe for this. If I feel like I'm really missing this exact shade of green, I'd rather find a single to put in this palette and keep this little package to kick around for the shape for the sake of one shadow and there's just there's just so much plastic empty space in that and that and yeah I've had this for so so long and it's yeah I'm just ready to part with this. The last one up for consideration is this little quad from Estee Lauder again. This is the shade Blue Smoke. I'd been kind of considering decluttering this and I sent a picture to Lauren which was more to think about the lipstick I was wearing but she asked what the eyeshadows were and we're like oh that's such a pretty look so I'm gonna keep this for now. I suppose we may as well stay with eyes and go through the eyeliners that I've used. Definitely keeping these Urban Decay 
24 7 eyeliners this one is the shade vice and this one is the shade heartless those two are staying mac mystery is definitely staying all of these greeny ones let's actually swatch these all next to each other just to make sure so mac mystery is the green but it's a very dark similar to um the crayon that I'd swatched, it's like a black with green running through it. So that is MAC Mystery, which I'm definitely, definitely keeping. Then I've got four other green eyeliners here. So I've got NYX Tropical Green. Then I've got Gosh Woody Green. They're actually quite similar, but I do like both. So I think I'll probably keep both because I feel like with eyeliners, you can sharpen them. And, you know, I will probably eventually in the next hundred... Thanks, Hansa goodness sake I'm so sorry I can't I don't have the heart to put her out of the room just because I need to film but she is a very loud background cat I could put one of these in a project pan or something and I would actually finish it so I'm going to keep both of them swatch the other green eyeliners this one is the Stila eyeliner in the shade Marie and this one is the Estee Lauder one in the shade Forest. So keeping all of these at the moment. Then otherwise I've got this silver one which I'm definitely keeping. This is the Ciate Olivia Palermo. This is the black one so I'm definitely keeping that. Then I've got these three here. The Estee Lauder Coffee will definitely keep. Let me swatch this one from Clarins. This is in the shade Copper. I actually bought this at the same time as I got that quad that I just decluttered. I do really like that eyeliner actually so I will keep that. Lastly I've got MAC Powerline. This swatches really well but it just never seems to show up on my eye and I'm ready to part with this one I think so I'm going to pass MAC Powerline on. Does this need to happen right now? Really? So um, Sansa likes the peacock eyeshadow and has rolled about in it. I don't know if you can see or not. Oh, she's not, well, she's kind of... Hello, you're just wiping in my bed now. She had rolled about in that peacock eyeshadow. It was all over the back of her head. Like there. And she's just um, spreading it over, over the bed. So that's... Um, Really helpful Sansa. Sansa will not settle so I'm really sorry if the purring in the background is really annoying. We're just gonna have to try and make do. Let's talk about lip products because we've now done all the eye products. Used this last night. This is my Guerlain lipstick. This is the shade number 214. It's a really really pretty sort of classic red that's got slightly orangey tone through it. Definitely keeping that. So you will have seen that in my London haul. Only thing I would say about these is that I've been keeping this in my little Chanel face powder pouch because I really kind of feel like these should come with like a pouch to keep them in but that is my only complaint but I do really like the colour. Next to that I'll swatch this Mina I think you say this brand and this is their liquid lipstick in the shade 500 and I really do like this the day that I wore this actually. It was the first time I'd worn it and I just really liked the colour. I thought it was a really really flattering red. It's not it doesn't set down this liquid lipstick, it did kind of have a bit of movability to it. I did really like it so I'm going to keep that as well. Also used NARS Audacious in the shade Olivia which I moan all the time about how these Audacious lipsticks just move around but they are some of my favourite colours that I own. I think the only other bold lipstick I've really worn is this one from Colourpop, the Disney Designer Collection in the shade Phoebus. That is that one there which I'm also keeping. Quite like this formula actually, I wasn't sure about it at first but I'm, it's really growing on me. And the other one in that formula is this one which is the Beast shade and this is what I was wearing in my February capsule wardrobe video. I really like it, definitely keeping that one as well. I wore Too Faced um, Gingerbread Man liquid lipstick which is it's one of my favourites. That is that one there. Definitely keeping that. I've got two Colourpop traditional liquid lipsticks. One is in the shade Beeper and one is in the shade LAX. I did like these colours but these were just so uncomfortable in my lips so I am decluttering them. I've got two of these Burt's Bees. One of them is the normal lip crayon and one of them is a gloss crayon. So the normal lip crayon is in Sedona Sands and then the other one, the gloss one, is in Santorini Sunrise and I enjoyed both of them. That one's actually not too dissimilar from Beast. Let me keep a hold of that just now and see how it compares against other ones. 
uh, definitely keeping the Santorini one. Next up I'll swatch the Urban Decay Lip Crayon in the shade Glinda. So this was from the Oz the Great and Powerful collection. Again, this is kind of similar to these three. I wouldn't get rid of this one though because it's from that collection. Nars Intriguing, which is broken. In fact, you know, I think I knew that and I meant to remember it, but let me just swatch that here. Getting rid of this one anyway because obviously it's broken, but it is a very, very pretty colour. Seattle Olivia Palermo collection. This is the shade Truffle. This is a bit more peachy than the others. That is Truffle by Olivia Palermo. And I think next to that I'm going to swatch Yash by MAC. Although I think this is a much yellower nude than definitely sort of in its own, own thing. So we'll keep that. Let me do this from L'Oreal. Is a 102. She's so matte. And see that's quite a bit warmer. So I'll keep that as well. Then I've got Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, pink here, a bit warmer. That actually doesn't look that pink when it's on the lips, but compared to the other ones you can definitely see that's different, so we'll keep that. Wet n Wild Sandstorm, again significantly different I would say from the others. I feel like it's one of these ones this kind of bit of my arm looks, they're all related to each other and I've been wearing them all with the same sort of deep green smoky eye, but they are different so far. Colourpop who run this, I was wearing this yesterday in my London haul ranking video and I really do like that, it's one of my favourites and I got that quite recently as a gift so I'm definitely keeping that. Bourgeois number five, I really do like this but I feel like this lipstick's past its best, I feel like it's started to dry out and I'm really sad about that but yeah I think it's just it's had its day and it really dried my lips out the day that I wore it so Getting rid of that. Last I've got number 17, Cheeky Secret, which is a very sheer peachy shade. So, so again, quite different to anything else that I've got on my arm. So actually I'm going to keep this because I think it's, I feel like these three are quite closely related, but this one is the looks lip formula. This one's like a glossy one and this one, so it's the closest to being a kind of creamy matte. I'm going to actually just keep this one as well, joining the ranks of what's been decluttered. Okay, moving on to lip liners. The first four that I've got are MAC Magenta, MAC Red, just washed my arm so I feel like it's not maybe the best surface for them, Kat Von D Rosary, I'm really glad that Kat Von D has left the Kat Von D brand. I had kind of decided I wasn't throwing away the things that I had from the brand that I really like because I actually really like a lot of the products but I just wasn't going to buy any more and obviously I'm still in my no buy so I'm not going to be buying any more anytime soon but I'm so glad she's actually left the brand so that I can like actually replace these when I run out because I really really like these lip liners. Not that I'm going to run out anytime soon but it's just nice to know. Burberry lip liner here, all the writing is rubbed off. So I've got Union Red and Military Red. I think this might be... In fact, is this oxblood? I'm not even sure because it's it's rubbed off. It actually looks like it's oxblood rather than either of the reds. So those are my lip liners that are like the bold ones that I've used in the last six weeks. And I'm keeping all of them. Then I've got three sort of greyish nudes, if that makes like... Brownie nudes is maybe a slightly more flattering term. This is Mac Spice, this is Colourpop Beeper and this is Colourpop Tootsie. Um, despite the fact the three of them look very similar in the pencil, this is obviously very different from these two. These two are very close though and I feel like I prefer the slightly less cool toned one, so I'm going to declutter Tootsie. Actually I've got MAC Electric here, let's do that next because I think that's... I think I wore this with Yash and again it's slightly just different to anything else. So I'm keeping that and then these ones I think are all sort of rosy nudes, so that is... Frickin' Frack, Wild Nothing, Mac Dervish, Nyx Can and Chanel Natural. I'm keeping all five of them as well. On to cheap products. I'm not going to sit and swatch these. I'm not decluttering any of these. I've got NARS Hot Sand Liquid Highlighter, Benefit Dandelion Twinkle, Natasha Denona Highlighter. This is just in the shade Light. Um, Becca Highlighter in the shade... This one's Pearl. Then... Two Dior highlighters, one in the shade Glowing Pink, one in the shade 001. I actually bought this four years ago yesterday on the way to New York. That's quite a special purchase, but it does not feel like four years old, which is why I need to declutter things. But these are all still fine. Powder products generally are fine. That is the Hourglass highlighting trio. Uh, and then my MAC Light Scapade. So I'm keeping all of them. And the last category is blush. 
and do you know what again I'm not going to waste your time going through them all because there are no blushes here that I want to declutter so oh, in fact that's a highlighter so that is my Becca Rose Quartz it was a limited edition one Tarte Tipsy Blush Bobbi Brown this is called Uber Beige really really nice colour if you're doing like a smoky eye or whatever and you just need something to put life in your cheeks but you don't want a statement blush um, but it's a cream product this is so lovely I've spoken about this brand before and this product was gifted to me but it's by a brand called Love the Planet. It's plastic free makeup basically and it comes, these are fully biodegradable and the idea is you would put this into a container of your choice which I really like the idea of but actually this is really practical because these are loose. I quite like this in that I put my brush in, dip it in and then like I batter my brush off the sides to get the excess off and it just then falls back into the packet whereas if it was in a pot I would be tapping the brush off and it would kind of probably fall over my dressing table or whatever so I actually really really like this packaging for them so that is their peach blush Marc Jacobs this is flesh and fantasy and I really really like these Marc Jacobs blushes I've only got two but they're like two of my favourites Urban Decay Indecent two Max Factor blushes this is fun. This is from Longcomb. It is the shade 022 Rose Indian. And it's like a really, really bright pop of colour, which I love. And last from Diego Dalla Palma. This is sort of peachy. It's like coral on one side, bronze on the other side, but it just goes a bit sort of peachy when you put it on your cheeks if you mix it. So yeah, no declutters from my face products. This is everything we're decluttering. One, two, three, four, five, six single eyeshadows, which I'm pleased about because that's a category I do want to bring down. One eyeshadow crayon, one eyeliner, one lip liner, then three small eyeshadow palettes and also one blush as well. So it did actually declutter a face product, which is nice. Two liquid lipsticks and two normal lipsticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 16, arguably 17 because the blush is on my inventory separately. So 17 products gone. Um, that's not a bad start. This is my first declutter of the year. I'm still kind of getting back into it. I think as well a lot of things that I use are things that I really like and I use them specifically to save them at the start of the year. So it's an alright start, I think. I definitely want to declutter more as the year goes on, but 17 is a good start. If I was to do that, if I was to declutter once every six weeks, so what would that work out in 52 weeks times? Say I was to do nine declutters this year, if I get rid of 17 products every single time. That would be a really big chunk of my collection decluttered, never mind things that I would naturally finish and whatever, so I'd be quite happy if we got this every time, but this has been my first one of 2020 and my no-buy budget year.